Hello YouTube folks, uh, this is Ghost Recon Phantoms, you maybe saw my review of it the other day. Everyone has a bad connection to this server. Um, I'm just, re this is just a random gameplay, this is not like a continuation of my review or anything, I'm just, I'm live streaming the game and I figured I would capture a game for you folks on YouTube who oftentimes do not get into the live stream stream weird hours or you know you just prefer to watch it on YouTube which I find completely understandable anyway I'm recording this game for you YouTube people hello come check out the live stream sometime you can speak with me directly I mean I won't hear your voice but you can chat and I will read it and respond oh no bad dudes I was not holy shit the enemy opened with a really aggressive move what the fuck's my team doing because what's supposed to happen here is that you both reach the central point at about the same time. But apparent, I must have missed the start of this game or something, because there should have been a warm-up. I must have missed. I must have come into this a few minutes after it started. Although it didn't look like that, that was what happened. I don't know. This is the situation, and I gotta make the best of it by being shot. Just a tiny bit around the corner. That's a side effect of me playing on a U.S. server, I guess, in a, uh, from Australia. Whoops. I suppose it's possible he could still equip my leg or something there, but a tiny bit around the corner. That's okay. It does seem like I'm maintaining a steady... Not really. Whatever. I gotta kill. I think that's the important thing here. Use my wall hacks! I don't quite... Alright guys, we gotta move up. We can't just camp here. Alright guys, move it up, move it up! Now's our chance, bros! Move it up! Ow, my legs! Oh, come on! Again, sort of just a tiny bit around the corner there. It's okay though, it was only like a sort of a split second and I am lagging, it's, it's understandable. I try not to be too mad. The funny thing is, is when I'm lagging in this, I still... It's not as laggy as, you know, BF4 at launch was with a ping at 20, or BF3 is to this day. So it is kind of funny, this free-to-play game. Runs alright in high ping situations. Battlefield doesn't even run very well in low ping situations. Thank you, DICE. In terms of uh, network congestion, I obviously don't have any actual FPS issues in either game. Alright. Okay. I see you. Come at me, bro. Well, that man exploded. Guys, I'm really frightened. I'm just gonna crawl up here, keep my head down. Why do I feel like there's gonna be somebody behind me? It doesn't look like there should be. Oh, we got. Oh no, he's got the immortality radius! This match is not going as well as I hoped. Last match didn't go that well either. Most of my games in this game have gone quite well, but I think it's that old sort of thing where I always play better when I'm not trying to live stream than uh, when I record than when I am. Not always, actually. I've got a few really good gameplays up in terms of you know how well I played. Not for this game, but for other games. But generally speaking, I play better when I'm not recording for some reason. Maybe it's stage fright. I don't know. Holy shit, guys, you can stop shooting at any point. Yeah, get Rex on. I need to fall back, because I... They're just going to keep shooting at that position. Ah, fuck! Didn't see those guys. Should have stayed where I was. I would have been able to hit them from the side. Might have not died so hard. Warning. Heavy casualties sustained. Quiet, lady. I know we're getting wrecked. It's not my fault. I'm doing my best. My team is all rage quitting. Everyone has a bad connection. This is everything's fault. Except for anyone's ability to play the game. 
Yeah. Okay, so they mean coming from that direction. I'm gonna. Oh, I got teammates in front of me. I shouldn't camp too far back. I'm not gonna be helping my team as much as I could. Ah! What the? F what are you doing up there, son of a bitch? I should have used my wall hacks to see, but I didn't think there'd be anybody there. Because I saw I had teammates a lot further forward, but I guess they were all downstairs. <sighs> this is not going well. I thought, please, this isn't the time to talk to me. Yeah, shot him around a corner that time. So it works both ways, huh? Gotta stay inside or near the immortality radius. Shit! Ah, I should have reloaded. Cause I ran, I ran in so close to that guy because he had the immortality bubble, and if you run inside somebody's immortality bubble with them, you can then shoot them and kill them. But I forgot to reload, so I ran out of bullets before I was able to actually get the sick frag, which I would have otherwise gotten if I hadn't had to stop to reload. Now we're just gonna lose really fucking hard. We gotta, I gotta get into alpha or we're gonna lose this. Don't wanna get fragged, because I can't do anything to help my team if I'm dead. Alright. We gotta take this one back, guys. We can still win this match. We can turn this around. Oh, shit, this is how I die. Yeah, there we go. Got inside the bubble, fragged him. Oh, God. No, no, no. This is not how I wanted this to happen. Let me respawn. Okay, guys, we gotta push up now. We gotta get Bravo back. Or, you know, not lose Alpha. That is a lot of bad dudes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and just pop a nade over there. Maybe we get some frag. I don't. They have the same idea. It's alright. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Fine, guys. Yeah! There we go! I always feel really bad when I waste grenades in this game, because you have to buy each and every grenade. Not with real money. My, well, you could use real money, but I mean just with the Phoenix credits that you get from playing. But still, because each one you throw is costing you something you could have spent on getting, you know, a better gun or something like that. I feel really bad when I waste them. So I try to make sure every time I throw one, it does kill somebody. Crap. Guy had a much better position than I did. He would have been able to see my entire body, but I could only see the edge of him. Put myself in a bad position for that gunfight. Uh, somehow I don't think we're going to be able to push up and grab B back, which is sad. Deeply, deeply sad. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the fact that you have to buy every grenade to know G. I mean, they're relatively cheap. It's not really a big deal, but I don't really like it just seems bad. I don't know. But, you know, kids these days are all about them microtransactions. By kids, I mean game developers, which are mostly adults, I would guess. 
You just get to sit there, bro? <laughs> Rolled the grenade at him, and he, I got to look with my little wall hacks at him just sitting there with the grenade next to him, like, yep, that's fine. That's cool. I'm just gonna explode, I guess. Dude didn't even care. I can respect that. Shit, this is how we lose. No way in hell are we gonna get the overtime. If we started capturing Bravo now, the game would enter overtime. And we would have a chance to win, but I don't think anyone can even get to B in time to do that. Our enemy looked like they just pulled back to defend. Specifically to stop such a last second saving ourselves strategy. At least they did relatively well, you know, on my team. Yeah, I mean, at least I, at least I placed okay in my team. This time, push, push, push. All right, demobilize. I already was. If you push too hard in this game, you just fucking get detonated. I mean, it's not the kind of game where you can just sprint and then pray that... Your superior gunshotting bullets will carry you through. You have to have superior strats to win in this game, but... Uh, I think a lot of people do tend to camp too much. Like, they see the game has a cover system, and then they don't even bother trying to be aggressive. It's kind of a hard thing, though, because... Because of the cover system, people tend to be, you know, in these good defensive spots, and they can hold out against you. Um... It can be hard to actually attack in this game, but you have to in order to win. You'll notice our enemies here are using their special abilities really well, like they're using their invulnerability shields, allowing themselves to push up. However, I managed to get in the zone. Most of my teammates are dead though, which doesn't really mean I have a very good chance. So that buddy's covering my flanks, I'm not gonna last long. But you got some got some guys showing up. We might get this. Okay. Shot that guy in the head, but he didn't die. There we go, that got him. Wall hacks, guide my hand. Re re you really don't want to be flanked in this game. If people get around behind or next to you, you're just fucking dead. You gotta be careful. Ah! Get off cover so I can have a bit finer control over peeking this guy. There are certain situations where it's better to not use the cover system. Like this, that sort of angle there is going to be a little bit easier not in cover. Ah, uh, shit, this is not bode well. Just gonna reload. If I can just stop them from moving up. That is a lot of bullets. If I can just stop them from moving up for a few more seconds so we can capture this, I'll feel good. Okay. Okay, we're doing better than last last half. We're doing better than last half. In order to win the match overall, though, we need to get every... Because we only held one point last time. So if we want to win this match, we need to get every single point. If we leave them with one point left, it'll be a draw. Yeah, we, we had a one point left at the end of last match. So if we get them down to that point, it'll be a draw. Or if we capture all of their points, we will win. That seems unlikely, though, because our enemies playing... Like, our enemies actually seem like they know what they're doing. They're actually playing pretty aggressively. They've got sort of good pushes and stuff like that happening. So it is going to be hard, I think, for us to beat them. My team did not show themselves to be particularly competent last round. We'll see what we can do. Shit. Can't really... I need to get inside Charlie to stop them from retaking it, but I can't really move up here because... Those two guys would just absolutely destroy me. If I go on this side, there's guys over there who are gonna kill me. Gotta try and get in the zone. No time to waste. Okay. I made it in time, you guys. I'm not a failure as a person. A little bit worried about this dude right, right over there. I'm okay though. I'm okay. 
my six strats are paying off. My my six strat of trying not to be shot in the face. That's pretty much the extent of my tactics. Alright, we gotta keep trying to push up. Can't stay here forever. Not if I want to win anyway. Okay. Get wrecked, son! Alright, I can move up a bit. Wes, next guy is behind that staircase, so I should be able to come right up to here. Ah, fuck! Come on, game! I was in cover, I was behind the corner, and then the lag, and I died. That one, I was completely safe. He Battlefield 3'd me really good. That's actually a recurring thing among my friends. I don't know if I really say that when I'm... If I've really said that much when I've been streaming or recording. But seriously, every time we get shot around a corner in a game, we call that being Battlefield 3'd. Because it happens so much in that game. Just getting shot around corners of the game. Yeah, yeah, the invulnerability bubble is good, and Tanoji was just saying he thinks the invulnerable bubble was a good addition to this game. Yeah, um, there's only a couple of things in this game that actually really allow you to attack people who have superior positions, and one of them is that invulnerability bubble. Um, the thing I've got, that's the wall hack, is also really useful in a game like this, so I can see where people are hiding, I can throw grenades, stuff like that. Um, yeah, the invulnerability bubble, like, it feels kind of cheap the first few times you see it, but as you play the game more, you sort of start to realize that it's actually really necessary. Otherwise, it'd be kind of impossible for people to attack. Ow! It was a sniper rifle bullet. Thankfully, it didn't hit me in the head, or I would be dead. I'm about to be dead anyway, however. This is... Okay, so the sniper's way at the back there, up on the staircase. You can just barely see him. There he goes. He just fired. And then I got this guy in the closer position. Maybe nade if the sniper doesn't kill me. I can't really... Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Teammate, go. Go. Use your invulnerability shield. Okay. Sniper's still up there? Yes, he is. He's gonna frag me before I can frag him if he jumps out. When Dice made BF3, they were secretly developing a game for Wanted on the side that they had to axe. Snuck some of the game mechanics in. That would explain a lot. I thank you, Tadoji. That, that really... You know, if that story were true, that would make me feel a lot better. Anyway, that sniper's about to explode. Alright, here we go. We can move it up now. We can do it, teammates. We still got three minutes. We'll get more time if we can cap the next objective. We can do it. We can win this one. I believe in us, teammates. We just gotta keep the pressure on. No, teammate! How did you fuck that up? You just had to shot bullets! Alright, keep moving. Keep moving. We gotta do it, team. We gotta do it, guys! I don't wanna lose. Ah! <laughs> I was not expecting there to be a dude there. Completely burst my bubble. I was feeling all. You know, I was getting shit done. Managed to slowly push up through Charlie there. I'm 10 for 3, so I'm doing well this half at least. But, uh. That guy just completely had my number, and that number was, uh, that he killed me. I'm not very good at math. Don't worry guys, this glass is bulletproof. Ah! 
Ah, oh, man. I wasn't sure if that was gonna... Oh, fuck. Okay, if I stay here, I can get in. Yeah, get wrecked, son! I mean, there is a way to counter the bubble, so it all works out. If you can just get nice and close, then you can still kill them. You just gotta be inside the bubble with them. Ain't dealing with your shit today. You can also use grenades. Um, like some, it kind of bounces off the bubble, but if you throw it in front of them and then they, like, it doesn't. The bubble doesn't like keep it away from them. If they walk over it, I threw my grenade in a terrible spot in order to try and do that. But I'm just saying, you know, if I was less of an idiot, it could have worked. guys not many of them alive at the moment if we just oh I've only got two HP I gotta I gotta keep my head down for a bit here if I can try and regen some yeah I'm just gonna sit here for oh shit we don't have time for that I gotta try and get in the zone <laughs> Yeah, there was no chance that was going to work, but I had to try. You know, it was our only hope of not losing if we could start the cap. At least we technically won round two, so it wasn't... It wasn't a complete loss. It was just we lost pretty bad on the first round. Whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, on YouTube. That's the, uh, that's the end of this YouTube video. Goodbye now.